what's up everyone welcome back to for another video uh today we are going to do one of the most requested for videos in building up unit rates this is module three work for the diploma candidates and uh, we are building up a unit rate for reinforcement bars um my name is naomi this is the easy qs channel uh if you're new here this is a channel whereby we help students in civil engineering, quantity surveying, and building courses to understand estimation and costing uh, together with measurements better. Uh, that is all that we are in about and we help to explain concepts to students so that they can be able to prepare in the easiest way possible for the exams. So feel welcome. Uh, there is a subscribe button down there kindly subscribe and be part of us. Uh, you'll be enjoying a lot of content in terms of building and quantity surveying and uh, you will be prepared for exams with uh, by our videos. So welcome, so feel welcome. For all returning subscribers, we are always so grateful. We feel appreciated and keep watching our videos. We hope that we are imparting skills to you and we hope that these skills shall help you uh, be able to continue making money in the construction industry. So thanks so much for your continued support. Kindly help us to get to 10,000 subscribers. We believe that with you and with God, everything is possible. So we'll get to today's work and our assignment here is to build up the unit rate for reinforcement have you ever uh, come across reinforcement bars of course yes in the construction industry reinforcement bars are usually added to concrete so that they can reinforce the concrete just adding more strength to the concrete so reinforcement bars are usually in different types we have the the ones that are in a mesh type like the, the brc the wire mesh and we also will have now the bars the bars that I read like the Y8, Y10, Y25, R6, R8. So, in today's question, we are asked to build up a unit rate for the reinforcement bars. So, let's go through the question, then solve it. And our question is saying, using the data given, build up a unit rate for 12 millimeters diameter high tensile reinforcement bars to BS 4461, including cutting, bedding, tying, and spacer blocks all as necessary packaging uh, when you're using reinforcement bars especially maybe in a slab uh, we use reinforcement bars together with spacers together with tying wires tying wires are the binding wires we have to tie the reinforcement bars together uh, we use the tying uh, wire we usually use the spacer blocks and um, all these materials we have to buy Remember when we are doing unit rates, uh, we usually consider all the materials that we shall use. Then we consider the labor that shall be applied and we cost for it. Then the total cost for material, total cost for labor, and maybe any plant and equipment that we shall pay for. Uh, we add it. Uh -huh. Then the total we do uh, overheads and profits. Then by that one, we shall get the unit rate. Unit rate is usually either per meter squared, per linear meter, per meter cubed, uh, according to the SMM. So in reinforcement bars, uh -huh, we are going to uh, find the unit rate of the reinforcement bars. Alright, so uh, in the data we are given in this question, we are told tying wire is 120 shillings per kg, uh, 12 millimeters diameter bar is 950 shillings per length delivered to site. Remember reinforcement bars, they are usually in a certain length. For example, in Kenya, they're usually in 12 meters length. So, uh, we shall consider that the 12 millimeters bar is 950 shillings. Uh -huh. Then, skilled labor, if we are paying them a thousand shillings per day. Then, unskilled labor is 400 shillings per day. So, uh, you're told to solve. Whenever we are doing a uh, unit rate, we usually make reasonable assumptions. So we are not given all the data that we need. We are given the data for the tying wire, the 12 millimeters diameter bar, the skilled labor and the unskilled labor. We have not been told about the tying wire. We have not been told about the gang for the labor, how many skilled and unskilled and how many hours they'll take. Then we are not told about the overlaps. We are not told about the spacer blocks. 
and we are not sold about the mass of the bars in consideration. Remember, we are supposed to uh, find the unit rate for 1 kg. Uh, once we find for 1 kg, 12 millimeters bar, then we sh whatever number of kgs that we shall use for the whole house. Now that we shall be having the unit rate. To get the total cost, it will cost us, we shall take the total uh, mass of the bars, we multiply by the rate per uh, kg. So uh, the unit rate for reinforcement is usually found in kilograms. Alright, so uh, the assumptions that we shall make is that the time wire to be used is usually 3% the mass of the bars. The gun size is one skilled, two and skill, and they will take 90 hours to do one turn of the bars. Overlaps is 10%. Uh, spacer blocks, they are 50%. The cost of tying wire. Tying wire, remember we said is there. It's the uh, binding wire. Uh -huh. Then uh, we have the mass of the bars for consideration. We shall consider 1,000 kg. Then we shall divide by 1,000 to get the cost per kg. Then offloading shall take four hours a day and it will be offloaded by the unskilled laborers as usual. Then labor for work shall be done by a gang of one skilled, two unskilled, and they'll take 90 hours to do a turn. Right, now we shall come to finding the unit rate. Uh, when you're finding the unit rate, we shall start with the material cost. In this case, we are buying the 12 millimeters diameter bars. Uh, the 12 millimeters bars, uh, the, uh -huh, a thousand kg, how do we find how many bars we shall use? There's always a formula for finding the mass of one bar of any diameter of reinforcement. And that formula is this d squared over 162.28 uh -huh, times L. d squared is diameter squared. Uh -huh. for like In this case, it's 12 squared. 12 millimeters bar, uh, 12 squared. We divide by 162.28. Uh -huh. Then... Uh, we shall multiply by the length. This one, uh -huh, we shall multiply by the length so that we can know uh, the mass of one bar. So, in this case, the length is 12 meters. We shall multiply by the mass of one meter. So, to get the mass of one meter is this formula that we are saying d squared over 162.28. Yeah. This one shall give us 0 0.8872. Now, uh -huh, they use 162.3, that's why they got 0 0.888. Alright, so um, the mass of one bar of 12 millimeters diameter is called is this mass. We will do one ton, one ton of reinforcement. So it shall be 1,000 divided by 12 times 0 0.88. Uh -huh. Then we shall multiply by the cost of one bar which is 950 and we shall get uh, 89,151.65 uh, that will be the cost of the bars of uh, 1000 kg the cost of all those bars is this one remember we have said uh, this one is the mass of one bar which is 12 meters this formula is for calculating the mass of one meter you take d squared over 162.28. If it was y8, we would take uh, 8 squared over 162.28. Then after we get the mass of 1 meter, we shall multiply by the number of meters of 1 bar. So that we can be able to get how many bars make 1000 kg. Then we multiply by the cost of 1 bar. We shall get uh, 89,151.65. Then uh, we shall consider the labor for offloading the, the reinforcement bars. Remember the reinforcement bars uh, shall come, uh, we shall pay for offloading as we buy the materials. Alright, that one we shall consider it in the material cost. Offloading it from the, uh, maybe from the lorry that they'll come by. So, it will take 4 hours and skilled laborers to do that work of offloading a thousand kg. So, how much shall we pay for offloading? One laborer, we pay him 400 shillings in 8 hours. So, in 1 hour, we shall get pay him 50 bob. Then, he uses 4 hours to offload 1000 kg. So, the total cost shall be 200. So, the total cost, material cost for the bars 
the when we are talking about the cost of the bus we shall be saying the cost of buying the bus and offloading them so the total cost shall be 89 151.65 plus 200 it shall be 89 351.65 all right then we shall consider for overlaps when we are tying the bus reinforcement bars have to overlap so that uh, they can be strong so we shall also consider we need to add some some allowance for the overlaps we shall assume that the overlaps is 10 percent remember we wrote it in the assumptions 10 percent of the cost of buying all these ones because we shall buy them and offload them we get 89 89.17 89 so the total cost of buying the bus offloading the bus together with the overlap shall be 98,286.82 Remember, we are supposed to use time wires. Time wires are in the materials. So, uh, time wires, the assumptions we made is that it is 3%, uh -huh, 3% the mass of bars. So, 3% the mass, mass is 1,000 kg, 1 ton. So, 3% of 1 ton shall, uh -huh, shall be the mass of time wires. Then, we multiply by the cost per kg. So, it shall be 3,600. Then we shall do spacer blocks. Spacer blocks, uh -huh, as, as per the assumptions, we assume that 50% are uh, the cost of time wire. So they shall take the cost of time wire, then 50% of it shall be the cost of spacer blocks, and that is 1800. So once we add this one, we shall get the total of buying the bars, of loading them together with the all overlaps, plus the time wire, plus the spacer blocks. Then, uh -huh, there shall be wastage of the bars. We shall waste 5%. Maybe there are those that we shall cut and they cannot be used anymore. Uh -huh. Maybe there are those that shall be uh, uh -huh, bended and they, are, they cannot be undone. All that wastage, we shall use 5%. We shall add an allowance of 5% for wastage. So 5% of the total cost. We shall waste spacer blocks, we shall waste time wires, we shall waste overlaps we shall waste the bars uh-huh we add the total five percent shall come to 5184.34 then the total shall be 108 871.16 okay that is the total material cost now we shall do the labor cost we have said that the labor it shall take one skilled and two unskilled people 90 hours to do uh one one ton of uh, reinforcement so one one skilled labor we paint him 1,000 shillings. The unskilled laborers, we are paying them 400 shillings each. So, 1,000 plus 800, we divide by 8 hours to get the cost per hour. Then we must pay by 90 hours, the time that they will take to do the work. We shall get 20,000 to 50.06. Having the material cost and the labor cost. Remember, we are not using material. Uh, we are not using plant or equipment here. So the total cost of uh, materials plus labor, we shall get 129, 121.16. Uh, for the profit and overheads, uh -huh, we shall take, uh, to get profit and overheads, we shall just take 20 25%. Okay, if we want our total profit and overheads to add 25%, but remember this one is the cost of 1,000. Kg. And we want, the unit rate should be for 1 kg. So we shall take the total 129, 121.16, we divide by 1000, and it shall give us 129.121. Then we shall add 25% of that to account for overheads and profits, which is 32.18. So the unit rate for doing the reinforcement bus per meter shall be 161.40. Alright. I hope that is very clear. We have done the unit rate for reinforcement of 12 millimeters uh, thick bar uh, using the assumptions. Remember when you are doing unit rate, you have to remember the assumptions. Uh, the assumptions shall not be given to you. You shall be given some data, then they will require you to do reasonable assumptions. So it's up to you uh, to remember these assumptions. So uh, I hope that is understood. If you have any questions, kindly write them in the comment section. I'll be able to attend to them. So if you haven't subscribed,
kindly subscribe to join our channel to join our community and we will be here making more content for you so uh, thanks for watching and all the best in your exams if there's any other topic that you would want me to cover kindly write it in the comment section this week uh, for the next two weeks i'll be here to serve you and i'll be making so many videos per day so that you can be able to prepare for your exams so thanks a lot